Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Post Notes plugin in Adobe Premiere Pro. Post Notes is a simple tool that you can use to take notes on your sequences in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now before I get started in my tips, I want to let you know that if you use the promo code in all lowercase Premiere Gal, you can get $2 off the $10 app. So, you, so go ahead and um, download it and follow along. At the end of this video too, I'm going to be answering one of the questions I received with the hashtag Ask Premier Gal. First, I want to give you three tips on why post notes is useful. One, in a world where there's lots of papers floating around and lots of you know, notepads with lots of notes and you lose it, it's really nice to just keep all your notes seamlessly within Premiere Pro and all of your notes are saved within the app. Secondly, if you're working on a project that has multiple sequences, you know, it makes it easier to take notes on each sequence rather than just one large notepad with all these notes on what to do for each sequence separately. And lastly, if you have an assistant editor who you're passing on some work to, you can leave them to do's within post notes, which is really awesome. So let's go ahead and dive in. So as you see here in my timeline, um, I have a, a complex multi sequence project here. Um, and now I want to take some notes and to do's to send on to my assistant editor. So um, up in my window, after you've downloaded post notes from postnotes.io, um, and you open up Premiere Pro under extensions, you will find post notes and you'll open it up and the panel will appear. Now right now, um, you will see that it has one of those clapper sim symbols here. Um, and to get started, um, if you click right here on select a sequence, it shows all the sequences that you have in this particular project, which is super useful. And I have a lot here, so if I want to find a particular one, um, like campaign fine cut, and then you go down and hit this notepad, you can add a note here. Let's say you needed to have your assistant editor add some color grading, some color correction. Color correction, um, like Lumetri color, white balance check. And if you hit this check button, what needs to be done, this is where you can create a to-do list, right? So you can say add Lumetri white balance on all clips and you hit enter and it creates a to-do. And once it's done, you can just hover over the circle and it creates a check and then it's done. Um, you can, you know, um, add in music track and so on. So that was just for that campaign sequence, right? If you need to go back and make notes on another sequence, you can go back and click on where the sequence icon is down here in this lower right corner of the post notes panel, and you can go back and find your next cut. So if we wanted to add um, notes to um, ESA fine cut, you click on that, and then you go ahead and hit that little notepad in the lower left hand corner. And, and you can start typing notes here. So that's how you use post notes panel. It's super easy to use and it's automatically saved within the project file. You don't have to save it or do anything extra. So now that I've showed you how to use the post notes plugin in Premiere Pro, I'm going to be answering one of the hashtag ask Premiere gal questions. Justin CR from Facebook wrote, what do you find is the best way to structure files and footage? Does that change depending on the kind of video you're editing, such as a music video or a documentary? So that's a great question. You know, how do I organize my footage? What's the best strategy? And you know what? The truth is, is that there's not one best strategy. There's not one strategy that fits all. You know, every editor has their own method to the madness. Um, but for me, um, if I show you my, my uh, current project, I tend to organize things by bins and folders. So I have a bin for my music. Let me make this bigger for you here. 
you know, I have a bin for color mats and adjustment layers. I have a bin for logos, for footage, for, fo um, for sequences, for anything that needs its own folder. Usually if I have more than five of something, I like to put it into a folder. And in terms of genre, it doesn't really change. Like for a music video, I mean, I may have like different scenes that I would put things in, um, but it's really kind of what works best for you and what logically makes sense. Um, for short campaign videos like this one that I'm working on, I tend to just have a folder for the basics, for music, for logos, for you know participant footage, divided up by person. So for instance, for this campaign, it made sense to divide it up um, by person because each person had their own story. You know, that wasn't a, an exact answer, but it was just showing you that it really depends on the editor. But I really find that if you create bins organized by label, by particular genre or by particular element or an asset, it really helps streamline the process, especially if you have to pass it on to somebody else. It really is useful to just have things in folders that make logical sense. So that's, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, be sure to download post notes um, and use the promo code PremierGal, all lowercase, to get $2 off the app. And I hope that you guys find it useful. See you next time. Bye.